Cigarette smoking is injurious to health. It causes cancer. Dhumpan shasthe jonno khoti kar. Dhumpan cancer er karun. It was a different dawn at the Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport. The din and bustle of the usual days was very much visible on the 1st of June 2015 as well. But the atmosphere outside of the airport was as loud and rapturous as it could define the significance of the first ever I-League triumph by any Kolkata outfit in its own etymology. It was McDowell Mohunbakan supporters who waved their heroes like an ocean. It had become a tale of disappointments for a club which has the richest history among all the clubs in the continent called Asia. The heritage and perspiration bestowed it in the term called the National Club of India. The glory of taking part in India's freedom fighting movement by beating East Yorkshire Regiment suddenly stimulated the patriotism of a whole nation against the British counterpart, but the past cannot heal the wound of the present. The agony of not winning a single I-League since its birth was not only mounting the frustration among the fans, but also putting immense pressure on the officials. last won a national trophy back in 2008 when they lifted the Federation Cup. And hadn't won the league since the 2001-2002 season. At that point of time, it was called the National Football League. The quench of winning not even a single major for a long time was gnawing everyone. From King Cobra Odafa Okeli to the tactical mastermind Karim Bencharifa, the officials were trying for everything. To Columbus, the transcend of winning a trophy after a long, long time. There came the man who had seen all the ups and downs of the modern era of Indian football, Subhash Monik. From a decent team build-up to appoint Deja Miranda Garcia, the veteran technical director did almost everything to run the side like a well-oiled machine. The start of the campaign wasn't bad at all for the Mariners in the Calcutta Football League, but they stumbled when they had to glitter in the prestigious Kolkata Derby. The 
Green and Maroon Brigade ended up by finishing as runners-up in the league. The supporters became crestfallen yet again, but they had the belief in their side. The inclusion of Haitian superstar Sony Nodi had suddenly introduced a spring of hope for the Green and Maroon Brigade. The King's Cup campaign in Bhutan showed the Milky Way about the potential of the squad. But the exit from the tournament owing to a 3-5 defeat on the hands of Bangladesh champions Sheikh Samal Dhanmandu forced the officials to take the decision of changing their technical director. I see Shonjai Shen in the beginning of the season also once we had a talk about him but this factor was actually playing that he hasn't have handled a big team like Mohan Bagan and East Bengal, so this pressure. But then, like if you see, Mohan Bagan has always had, has always given opportunity to coaches who have not been with a big team before or has started their coaching career. If you see Shubhrata Bhatchaj, if you see Shubhash Bhumik at one time started his coaching with Mohan Bagan, Vishwajit Bhatchaj and you can name many. So, at that point of time we had thought that might be Shonjashan will try to bring in a new type of a flavour because all the other coaches were somehow you knew their ways, their games but Shonjashan could have brought in a fresh wind to the team. There came Sanjoy Sen. It was never easy to ship a team like McDowell Mohan Bagan when you were handed a challenge of managing a Kolkata giant for the very first time in your career and that too by replacing a successful figure like Subhash Bhomik. It's nothing special actually. When I got the offer, when Devasish rang me, I just took one day's time to think of the thing because I saw, I followed Mohan Bagan's um, local league, some, some matches, not all the matches, two, three matches I followed and all of a sudden the offer came, me, came to me and just I took one day's time, then we sat together and just on 15th of December, I started the practice with this Mohan Bagan club. Their campaign was not at all conducive in the Hero Federation Cup. The luck of fortune let them down big time, especially against the eventual champions Bengaluru FC, even after a commendable display. And there goes the whistle, playing from right to left is Bengaluru who have already got a win under their belt. Boya. Yusakatsumi, delightful header and that would be the first goal. Well, that's a good attack from Mohan Bagan. Good shot. The dear old national referee. Gonna keep coming in and a fine header. At that time, when during this uh, 12 days or 15 days training, I saw that the, the defenders, we are Mohan Bagan, Okay, in the local league they played well, but somehow they considered goals. In any way, they can't can keep that lead. Actually, and I thought that if we can organize the defense, then it, it will be better for us. In Federation Cup, we played against Bengaluru FC, and it was 0-0 draw. But we played, we dominated, and we played extraordinary football. The first match of Mohan Bagan Club as a coach, and uh, the only thing we they were missing was that we can't score the goals actually, and we are out of Federation Cup to run tournament due to you know, the missed chances and whatever it is. After failing to make out of Group B in the 2015 Federation Cup, the Mariners were merely expected to contest for a top four finish in this year's Hero I League campaign. But the way they started the Hero I League, it seemed that the bunch was ready to answer the critics with a new plate to heal the pride of the Queen and Maroon jersey.
again we started and uh, we got uh, maybe 10 days time after coming back then we got in 10 days time and the thing is that when we played in the federation cup it helps as a coach it helps a lot actually it was a learning process and first times i was working with uh, so, uh, katsumi then sony then boya and balwan then many other players although i know most of the players so somehow it gives me the advantage to know the boys actually to read them psychologically and all these things my both teams it's been just the first the match of the hero i league was just a start in the meridian's fonte and once again now jj got to be use a lovely touch sony norde taking it long range just past the upright welcome to the oldest rivalry of uh, World football. The first leg of the Kolkata Derby was an eventful one in the Hero I League. And uh, it's the first derby of the year 2015. It's got to be Yusuf with a corner kick. Is it a corner? Yes, oh it is! God. The first goal of the Hero I League. Shailo Malswam Tulunga curled it in. Good fist, a uh, strong fist down there by Devjit Masundar. Still with Shailo Malswam Tulunga curled it in. It's a good chance, it's a goal! It was never easy to grab full three points from the northeast. Shillong Lajong was exuberant with the startling inclusion of a midfield maestro like Ben Ochi. But the Green and Maroon Brigade had the faith on their abilities and the coach Sanjay Sen marshaled the stroke with shrewd tactical analog and the result just bumped the whole unit. When the ball comes to you, then you start thinking about it. It's a good chance that's for the biggest score of not yet. That's the opening goal of the game. Oh, that's a superb ball. Play to Sony Nore. Let's see whether he can create any danger of what good chance. Will he score? Oh, it's the goal, is it? Look at here. Sonny's got the ball. Northeast, the difficulties is there. They are definitely first of all the weather condition is uh, different. Then high altitude is there. Balaban actually is scorer, uh, and he is a very good scorer. He is a orthodox striker. The National Club of India showed their pride and character when they had locked horns with the defending champions Bengaluru FC at the Salt Lake Stadium, Kolkata. They thumped four goals, even after conceding the first goal, scored by Sunil Chetri. So that's uh, the kickoff of the match. Personally, I'm very positive. This is the time we have to show that, yes, we have that potentiality. That's a good chance. Sonny Dode is just in with the ball. Can he score another goal?
is uh, Soninone. Good turn. Still a chance. Oh, oh, oh what a goal! This is phenomenal football. I don't know, the way they are playing. Oh, a long range of bird. Oh, it's the ball. The return leg of the Kolkata Derby was happened to be just the turning point for them in their chase for the title. All the teams should be very much poised to have uh, their best performance uh, in this game. Magdal Bagan, they are sitting pretty right at the top of the ladder as far as the league. Box uh, will welcome two of the greatest heroes of all time uh, in the context of Kolkata Derby. This is uh, Arup Biswas, uh, the Minister of the Government of West Bengal, shaking hands with the match officials as well as uh, with both the teams. Uh, there is Anjan Mitra as well, the Mohandalan Secretary. The lucky man will shake hands with uh, their heroes as well as the match of, uh, officials and what biggest stage it can be the Kolkata Derby. We are all poised uh, to really to start this game uh, on a bang, and that goes the whistle. The attacking spearheads of uh, Kingfisher is Bengal. It's Tudor Magbemi and Ranti Martin started the things for the Red Gold Brigade. Well, it's Bengal defense. This is Tudor Magbemi. Can he score from there? Fantastic save by Devjit Mandukar. All the matches he's doing something on the other. You see, last moment. He just deflected the ball. The chance to do! What a save! Back to back saves by Devjit Kasundar. It's still a chance? No. That once, was the save. Now, uh, once again, Devjit uh, came to the rescue of Monbara and Dudu could not score that. Very good chance. Laluti Karate taking the shot. Still a chance. But a fantastic academic save down there by Devjit. Starting from the gun as well. It's Klaxo Vijusa. Good out stem. A chance. Fantastic save. Is it the goal? Yes, it is. McDermott on the gun. All of a sudden, got the goal. All of the opening goal of the match. What a fantastic goal. And it's 1 1 take. Keeping his cool, he just kept the ball beyond the reach of the goalkeeper. My video just had spoke about Bhagwan Singh. He just uh, discussing about uh, Dudu, uh, Ranti, and discussing about uh, uh, Boya, uh, Roti as well, and Katsumi, and we are pretty difficult because it was a little shot and a lot of people was in, in front of him. Martin's charge! Can he score? No, it was safe. I told Devjit, Devjit, you just see the ball. Don't see where is Dante Martin, where is Dudu, where is Meta, and where is other all. Always he was the ball. And I think uh, Devjit played a, played a brilliant game that day. Their ineffable victories against Salgaoka Football Club at home. Coach, he knows better, he knows the condition of the players. The players are coming in. Body language of the McLeod Open fans really say it all. They are really uh, filling it after a long time because McLeod and Mohan haven't won a single drop in the last four years, you know? Yeah, not only that, they haven't been in such a promising position. Staining his ball, so you know they with the free kick. A fine one as well, and that's goal! Oh, that's goal! Another chance to hoop here. To who chance they for rising goal? Salkarka are back in it. Sorry, Dolly. Go on again. Good time in the second half. 
Long range effort. It's still there. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 And Pune FC at Balewari give the identical momentum to go for the ultimate glory. And that's the start of this uh, hugely important game. It's McTow and Mohan Bagan who will be operating from uh, the right to left of your television screen. Back to Sony Node. It's a fine chance! Is that the goal? Yes, it is! That's a user! That's the final nail of the cup win! See, what a nice cross! Just over the head of the defender. Somebody went to head, but. So nicely cuts to me follow and he just put the ball with his head into the net. Informed Shillong Lejong was confident FC. after an inspirational victory of a Temple Sports Club at Goa and they came up with a memorable performance against the Mariners as well. But there was a Devjit Masunda who appeared to be an inexorable presence under the bar. This is the start of the game. Bengaluru FC2 started to push the tempo to defend their title by winning successive matches and that started to put pressure on the Green and Maroon Brigade as well. And their emphatic victory against Trevor James Morgan's temple at Salt Lake Stadium, Kolkata, was a confidence booster. It's got to be you, sir, with a corner kick. Good chance, it's chance, and clear golden chance. This is a corner. be the last throw on the dice for the Impulse Sports Club. And that is the final whistle.
They were on the top of the pile for most of the season, but did stutter just before the final stretch as they stumbled against Santosh Kashyap's inspired Royal Wahindu Brigade, where they tested the first defeat of the Smarathan League. The defeat came as a thrashing blow to the morale as well. performance against Mumbai FC in the very next match reflected that. As we all know that they are the current league leaders, but uh, they should not... Uh, Skipper Shelton Paul's terrible mistake costed them another defeat against Bharat FC in their very next match as well at Pune. Subhash is right, he came running. Shildan wanted to kick the ball. It hit Subhash and went inside. It would be hard for Vikal Mohan Bagal to respond to this. He did well to keep the ball into his control. There's still a chance. Once again, fabulous defending by Gold Monkey Singh. I was really under pressure. Uh, I wasn't sure whether I will get chance or not. By God's grace, uh, I got chance. And that time, uh, the few much few matches left there were. Uh, that time, my that point of the time, my family, my colleague, my uh, office staff, in fact, my uh, official, they stood beside me. And they helped me a lot to overcome that from the position. Their former captain, Odafa Onye Kaukeli rose to the occasion to make the task even more difficult for them in their next fixture against Sporting Club de Goa. for him as well. That goes uh, the whistle for the start of the game. It's a... Uh
It's an Ava O'Kelly who scores the goal for McDowell. Um, Sporting could go up against McDowell. Mount Bagat is former side. After Pune, we played Mumbai FC and that is was 0-1-1 draw, then we lost two matches. And today I can share these things because that time people asked me what is the reason and all these things. You know, throughout this period, there is some problem with the sponsors and they are not paying the amount of money to the clubs and also and the club officials are also faced a lot of difficulties to actually pay their dues and all these things. That time, it was really, really, really worst time actually when we lost, but I never go for excuses. But I can share it today because it will not affect our team's performance. So I tried that, yes, that time I have to keep, be on the side of the club as well as the players also. So I told the boys, that, yes, look, you have, you have worked hard, you have, whatever we have achieved, it is your credit. So last four matches, you just forget all those things. Yes, money is definitely, definitely important part. Other than that, other than that, what, what for you are playing? Maybe you are pay, pay, playing for your family, friends, or for your own self. Forget these things and just focus on these four matches left. So, the boys showed tremendous character. But the true champions know how to come back from the odds. And Began did exactly that against Royal Vahindo. Mizoram has also they lost the first position to Bangalore football club and there goes the kickoff. Mandal Mandal kicking off from the left to the right and five to zero. Mandal Mandal one. What a good cross, but it went inside. The pin for the forward, Neja was there, but it went inside. Very good decision. Pin is no time chance to go deeper. There's Katsumi. There's Sonny Nadi. Oh, concentration. Nickel Burnett. Sonny takes that. and Sporting Club de Goa, respectively, at Barasat Stadium in their alternative home venue. Central, Sonny Nadi. Sonny, 
The Kolkata outfit amassed an incredible 26 points at home, dropping merely four points on their own turf all season. Then came the all-important day, the clash of titans. With the Green and Maroon Brigade, was getting ready to protect the glory, the passion and heritage of the National Club of India. Frankly saying, Bangalore is a very good team. Uh, last year they won the trophy, I League, this year they won the Federation Cup, even this year they were the competitor, one of the competitors with uh, I League. So uh, when we started the league, there was a huge difference with Bangalore FC with us. And uh, the, the, when the uh, when the trophy, when we are going to be end the trophy, there was very few few matches left, and the very point few points are left. So uh, when we were discussing among us, I was to say to them, of my players, yeah, if we playing same as we played the last match and whatever the played good match we have played, though we sure we can we'll do that we'll uh, win that match and we'll do something good for it. <laughs> As well as all the football lovers who belong to Bengal against the inexorable defending champion Bengaluru FC. between Bengal Mohan Bagan and Bengaluru FC. But, uh, look at that lush green outfield, it's absolutely beautiful. It should be a great occasion. Bengal Mohan Bagan in white, Bengaluru FC in blue. The Mariners started the game in an emphatic fashion. Sony know this powerful shot hit the woodwalk. Now a chance for Pierre Boya, releasing it here for Sony Norde. He's up against John Johnson, goes for a shot. But against the run of play, it was the tall and strong Bengaluru FC defender John Johnson who gave the all-important lead to the home side and silenced the away crowd. Sanjay Sen's men knew that they will never get a better chance to win the title. Instead of getting bogged down by the trauma of the moment, they start to pounce on the Bengaluru FC defence with indomitable spirit. The likes of Gotti Sosano, John Johnson, Reno Anto, Lalchun Mawaya seem to be all over the place. Flabbergastic by the seal and determination of the pride of Bengal. Sanjay Sen's men needed was a draw and that could sculpt their names on the pages of history. See that you put the ball into the net. It's a good move. Nobody on there is not under pressure. You can see the Bengals FC corners have been doing very well. Belu Razak, the Nigerian defender of the Mariners, was raring to have exactly a stage like that. Remember, a champion always knows the moment he needs to silence his critics. And he eventually did exactly that. 
I was in Hotel Gardenia, which was just stone swing distance from the stadium. When Bengaluru scored, I heard that goal. I heard that cry. I knew we were down. My son came, and it was 80th minute. 80th minute. He came and said that I think we have lost. A team match is going to I said, "No, no, match is going to be. I can't do it. No, I'm going to say, 'I'm not 8-10 minutes to play.' So we were sitting. We were two or down. We were sitting, and there was he was in WhatsApp touch with the people in the stadium. How can goal have a goal? WhatsApp or iPhone? I like to see the goal. I was completely down. I was thinking, 'I'm going to do it.' The moment he said, 'Goal.'" And in my recent times, I have never cried that much. By telling this now also. Actually, if you see this Mohan Bagan election and this I League win, personally for me, I had a lot of things to prove in my life, and God was kind. It was an innocuous corner from Sonny Nodi. That's all what Belo needed to electrify the ball at the back of the net. A sudden spark from the 37-year-old veteran, and the rest is history. Every five minutes, I ask Compton, Compton, goal holo. Just 10 minutes before the match, I couldn't check myself. So let let's see. I I, I want to see whether Mumbai will win or Mumbai will defeat. The second corner. That Belo scored a goal. That day, I couldn't check myself. Uh, so so many bouncers are there in the gate. So I told them, please get me, get me inside the <laughs> get me inside the ground. And I, in the track, I I dance with the supporters. The agony, the emotion, the pride, the trauma of the moment raptured the whole Bengali community to a different horizon. It had tears, it had smiles, it had an undepicted sound of making an impossible task possible. championship winning night at the team hotel at Bengaluru was an unprecedented night. Gala celebration with cakes, music and dance as if no one is watching. The man who stood as the father figure behind the amazing success eventually awarded the best coach of the season. As a Bengali, I have that you are the first to achieve the idea. It's um, okay, it's, I'm happy because. First time after 13 long years, Mohan Bagan won this. Whatever that earlier it was National League, then it is I League. So it's very satisfying because when we started, believe me, nobody in this club, maybe one or two officials, and maybe 10, 12 supporters in the stands, just because they also lost the faith. And when just every day after the practice session, when people, those followers, those fans coming, Sanjada, you can do it. You can do it. That can make a big motivation for me. The 
next day when they arrived at the Kolkata airport, they discovered an incredible scene. Thousands of Mekhtar and Mohan Bagan fans who were ashamed by the constant fiasco of the most ancient Ali club of India have come up with the echoing voice of their proud heroes. The bus who carried the golden triumphants of the National Club of India probably had to undergo the most traffic ever in its way. And it was the sheer mob of love, the love which inspires the pledge to do even better in the future. not for anything else, but for the fans who know how to love their club without any personal interest. All this turmoil disturbed the members of the Moonbaran Club. And naturally, when we won the trophy this year, there was an abundance of pleasure. Everybody was happy. Even I know a man in Howrah who was aged about 93 years. He was aged about 93 years. He saw the match when ultimately goal was scored. And the match was drawn. He was relieved and then he rang me at that particular time after the match was over. How happy he was. Right from the IFA Shield final against this Yorkshire Regiment, McDowell Mohan Bagan Athletic Club have been the sun of inspiration to the whole Indian community. The overwhelming reception outside the airport re-injected the myth that this club is not just a football pride but an institution to the sports culture for the Indian community across the globe. This Eilic triumph could just be a new beginning of getting back the old glory of the Mecca of Indian football, a sibling which could enlarge a banyan for the future success of Indian football. <laughs>